I know who sent Liz flowers, but before we get to that, you guys, we have some catching up to do. Welcome to Gingerific, the most savage mom channel on YouTube, and today we're investigating Lizzie's crush situation, and I'm so excited to tell you that I know who sent the flowers. But before we hop into that, I want to tell you guys something. This flower situation was a strategic move by the person who sent it, okay? And the reason why I know that is because I think that there's a sequence of events showing that this person had this all thought out. Let me catch you up to Liz getting flowers. I have a crush mm -hmm. on who? Oh, I don't want to say it. Because if I say it, then everybody's going to know. But what if my crush is watching and he sees this? I'm going to be texting my crush. <gasps> I'm actually not going to like tell him how I feel. I'm just going to do the song lyric prank because you guys all voted. I will be doing the song Baby by Justin Bieber. <sighs> it's like, whoa, oh, you know you love me. <laughs> I know you care. Oh my God. Shut These are bold up. lyrics to send your crush. I'm so nervous. I'm not sending What do you this. think he's gonna say? I don't know. Oh my gosh, he's like, is this a song? <laughs> oh, what'd he say? He said, baby, baby, baby. Oh, I think he knows. It's a song. I think he knows. Liz? What? What are you up to? Um... Nothing. <laughs> nice shirt. Oh, okay, thanks, bye. I gotta go. Thanks, bye. Okay, bye. Liz and Carter are literally on the swings together, just like Gage was saying. Ha! Huh, I got you guys! Liz, what? Carter what? is what? definitely your go. crush! What? Ew! Ew. Yeah, no, we're just FaceTiming! We're no FaceTiming, way! Millie. You guys are sitting so close. No, we're, we're totally. FaceTiming! That's just so I can see the camera yeah, for FaceTime. Yeah, we were FaceTime. FaceTiming so we could be, like, both be in the camera. Yeah. What? Carter's are not you my serious? crush. What? Ew. You're, you have a crush on me? No, 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 I don't, I don't. Ew. I don't okay, I'm you. getting out of here. Do you know who it's from? I mean, I may or may not have an idea. Okay, um, <sighs> who do you think it's from is like the bigger question, right guys? Why are you guys looking at me? I don't know, it's just like so exciting because I got flowers. Liz definitely has a crush. And we know that someone definitely has a crush on Liz. But is the person who has a crush on Liz actually the person who sent the flowers? That is the mystery. Let's look at this footage really quick. Ginger said that she got, she has something to give me. So I don't really know what it is, but let's go find out. So Liz knows that I am the one who received the flowers. Basically, Gage um, was the one who got it from the delivery person and then brought them to me. But because they had her name on it, I knew they weren't for me. So I texted her real quick and I was like, hey Liz, when you get a second, come in the house because there's something in here for you. So that's what she was talking about. Gage said that it was just a regular delivery person. So there's really not any good evidence there. Okay, um, take a look at this. It says to Lizzie, I have a crush on you too from Secret Crush. Whoa. Um, Do you know who it's from? I mean, I may or may not have an idea. Okay, um, who do you think it's from is like the bigger question, right guys? Why are you guys looking at me? I don't know, it's just like so exciting because I got flowers. I mean, who do you think it could be from, Liz? I don't know, but they're so pretty. After I had the phone call with the person who has a crush on Liz, um, it's really weird that these flowers would just show up, I will admit that. But I think the whole strategy behind it was to figure out if she would admit maybe some options of who she might like so that we could narrow, start narrowing it down. The tricky thing is, is that Liz is super smart and she did not give in at this point and tell us any names that she thought it might be. But we can look at the people she chose to go get signatures from, okay? So let's look at the people that she chose to get signatures from. Are you ready? Let's do this. Okay. All right, guys, make sure you get a good look at this. Is that how, cursive? I'm pretty sure those are R's, Carter. I don't know how to do a Z in cursive. Here, under this one. Z in cursive. Why am I doing this? Um, just for fun, seeing if who can write my name the best in cursive. Hey, Ryan. What's going on? Can you write cursive, Lizzie, the best you can? <laughs> Nobody can do Z's uh, around here. Z's are hard. How do you do it? Is it like that? Do your best. There, is that all you need? Yeah. I don't know if that's very good. Hey, Zach. Yeah. Can you write Lizzie in cursive the best you can? Sure. 
Whoa. Did you do a fancy L? <laughs> oh, stove. Stove. Oh, yeah, where's stove? Okay, we're sliding it under. And then send it back when you're done. And Lizzie and Cursive? Yeah. yeah. Oh, let's see if it's a match. Whoa, Whoa. hang on. That looks like a pretty decent. I think it's pretty crazy that she had Carter do it first. That's a huge sign to me. Um, and then Hunter and Stove and like there was a few other people. But I mean, for me, I think that there was definitely an emphasis for Liz on Carter, Hunter, and Stove for sure. That's just the feeling I got when she was talking about the signatures in the order in which she got signatures. Um, I think that she's smart enough to know that if she were to go boom, boom, boom all in a row that it wouldn't be obvious, so she switched it up a little bit. But you can definitely tell in the video who she emphasized. And I would say that is Carter, Hunter, and Stove. What do you guys think? Do you think that she emphasized those three? I can't really say what one out of the three was more emphasized. I'd have to say Stove probably. I'm just guessing here. Tell me what you guys think down in the comments because I think Liz is giving us hints along the way and we are gonna get the bottom of this. I think we have to back up here, you guys, because before Liz went out to get the signatures, there were two things we had to do. What were they? One, someone had to call the florist, and two, someone had to get the signatures. Initially, Liz asked me to get the signatures, but actually I volunteered to call the florist. And there's a reason why, I'll tell you that in a minute. I was definitely trying to figure out who Liz thought it was that sent her the flowers, because you guys have to admit, that is a good use of my time. Because if she were to tell me, I think Carter sent them, or if she told me, I think Stove sent them, that's like a hint that she likes one of them, or maybe she deep down hopes that one of them sent the flowers. Do you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Kyle spends a lot of time with Liz when she's here. Let's ask Kyle what he thinks. Kyle, you spend so much time with Liz when she's here. You guys are really good friends. Who do you think she likes? Well, I did watch the video and the handwriting looked a lot like Stove's handwriting. Yes, I would agree with that. But I think it's Carter because they've been sitting next to each other and when they swim in the pool, like Carter picks Liz up and puts Liz on his shoulder, but I wouldn't blame him. If I was one of those guys like Hunter or Carter or Stove, I would think she's pretty cute too. I would have a crush on her. Yeah, she is pretty cool. Yeah, she's cool, fun, and Cute. Obviously, Kyle has great taste in girls. <laughs> but just like I suspected, Kyle suspects basically the same thing. I think the flowers appear to come from Stove, but definitely we see some interactions between Carter and Liz. I don't know, I find that very confusing because she has a lot of interactions with Hunter and Stove too. So I would probably say Carter and Hunter are about equal and then uh, maybe Stove. So. I don't know, it's so hard. I mean, I wish I could just tell you guys who called me on the phone because then you would know. But the problem with that is that I still don't know if the person who called me is Liz's crush. I was trying to use the flowers to uncover who Liz likes or maybe, you know, narrow it down. So when Liz got back from the signature, she asked me how it went with the florists. This is what I said. Yeah, we got all the signatures. How was oh, your phone awesome. call? Um, no luck on the florists at all. They will not. They won't like, tell I'm you? I'm sorry. If they didn't come on the card, we can't tell you. Oh, bummer. So I don't know. I have a secret about that, guys. I never called the florist. I know, I know. It sounded like a lie. I know. This is the thing. I already knew what the florist was gonna say. So I didn't worry about talking to them. But I will tell you this much. I still know who the flowers came from. Do you want me to tell you at what moment I knew who the flowers were from? Let me show you. This, something really mysterious happened earlier today. Mm -hmm. um, we had a knock on the door and Gage answered it and somebody gave him this. Like, this is really Whoa. beautiful. And I thought it was for me because this is my house and usually when flowers are delivered here, they're, they're for so me. Pretty. But look at this oh, note. Oh, there's a note. Look at this note. That's right, I knew from the very beginning who the flowers were from. But I wanna tell you why I think the flowers were sent. I suspected that the flowers would make her easily express who she wished she were from. I, I, I was hoping that she would just be like, I. I think they're from Carter, or I think they're from this person, or I think they're from this person. Do you know what I'm saying? Then that way it would be like, oh, okay, those are like the, the main people that she wants them to be from. So we can like 
guess that this person that she likes, her crush, is in the mix, right? That didn't happen exactly, but I think it sort of happened with the signatures. And the three people that she emphasized during that time were who? Carter, Hunter, and Stove, right? So it was successful. The flowers worked. It did work. Now is the time that I reveal who they are from. And this, my friends, is a big secret. Do not tell Liz. Do not tell Liz what I'm about to tell you. Do you promise? Hashtag crush in the comments. If you promise not to tell Liz what I'm about to tell you, I'm dead serious about this. She cannot know. I sent the flowers. We'll see you in the next vlog.